What word would you use to describe turtle? Long, long ago, all turtles had beautiful, shiny, round shells. Indeed, turtle shells were so bright and shiny, the other animals could see their reflections in them. Day after day, the animals paraded past the shiny shell of the great turtle leader to gaze at themselves in wonder. The great turtle leader was very proud of his very shiny shell. He was also very lazy and very crafty. As the other animals came by to look at themselves, Turtle thought about ways to use his shell for his own good. After days of thinking, Turtle came up with a selfish plan to get food without working for it. Turtle offered a trade with the other animals. If they brought him food, he would sit very still and let them peer closely into his shiny shell. Day after day, Turtle sat very still, eating happily. Bear came to groom his sleek fur. Beaver came to look at his big, sharp teeth. Eagle came to gaze at his sharp talons and powerful hooked beak. When he wasn't eating, Turtle talked and talked and talked. Turtle loved to talk almost as much as he loved eating. And then, because my shell is so shiny... Turtle was very happy with his lazy life. But the other animals were growing tired of his laziness. They were also growing tired of his greedy demands for more and more food. As winter approached, food became scarce. The animals found it difficult to get enough food for themselves as well as for Turtle. And no one had time anymore to look at their reflections in Turtle's shiny shell. The animals held a meeting. They came up with a plan. The geese always flew south at this time of year to a wonderful place. Perhaps they could take Turtle with them. Two geese went to tell Turtle about this place down south where he would have all the food he would ever want. Greedy Turtle's eyes grew round as he thought about all that lovely food. Let's go there right away, he said. But how would he get there? Beaver solved that problem. In no time at all, the geese were carrying Turtle through the sky. They flew over mountains and lakes. They flew across forests and deserts. Turtle looked down in wonder at the amazing new sights. Turtle longed to tell the geese about the amazing things he could see. He tried to talk around the branch in his mouth. He said. Be quiet, the geese honked. Be quiet. The geese swooped lower. Now they were flying along a wide, winding river. Huge rocks were piled up all along the riverbanks. Turtle kept mumbling excitedly. Over and over, the geese told him, Be quiet! We are almost there! But still, Turtle tried to talk. As the geese swooped even lower, Turtle saw beautiful ponds by the river. He knew there would be plants and insects as well as little fish. There would be enough food to keep him eating all winter long. This must be the place the geese had told him about. Look at all that food! 
turtle shouted joyfully. Then, down, 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 turtle fell. He landed flat on his back on top of the rocks. Crack, 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 went his beautiful, shiny shell. Turtle was very frightened. Geese, geese, please help me, he pleaded. When the geese helped Turtle turn over, they could hardly believe their eyes. Turtle's beautiful, shiny shell had wide cracks all over it. Turtle looked up sadly. Tears ran down his beak as he said, if you will mend my shell, I promise never to be greedy or lazy again. The geese scooped mud and sand from the riverbank. Then, slowly and carefully, they mended the cracks in Turtle's shell. And that is why, to this very day, turtles have cracked shells. It is to remind them that they must gather their own food and not be greedy. What are they thinking? <laughs>